name's uh, Dr Charlotte Ramage. I'm a principal lecturer at the University of Brighton based in the School of Nursing Midwifery. So what is the University of Brighton's health background? Well, the University of Brighton's got an expansive um, range of uh, health-related courses. We have uh, Sussex um, Brighton Medical School and Postgraduate Division of Medicine, School of Nursing uh, and Midwifery. We have a School of Hel Allied Health Professions as well and a School of Social Sciences that has forensics involved there. So we cover a whole range of areas that would of people, delegates, who will be coming to this conference. In addition, we have uh, a Social Informatics Research Centre which is very directly related to the focus of this conference. The BCS Health Conference has been awarded the Brighton Recognising Education Quality Mark. Mm. Can you explain what that is and, yes. and how come the conference got awarded it? Yeah. Well, um, in my capacity, I am the REC lead, that's Recognising Educational Quality Lead, and we were approached by um, the planning team of HC 2012 because they were um, exploring a new format for the conference that year and they were wanting to um, maximise the learning potential that delegates could have that were coming to the conference um, because they're exposed to such um, as such very good high calibre speakers, there's incredibly innovative ideas and contemporary issues on health informatics that are brought to the conference. Something they were very proud about was the um, support networks that could be developed through the conference, but what they felt that they wanted to maximise on was um, the collaboration and project activity that could also come out of the conference that was engendered by people participating and sharing together. For people who are in the education side of health and health informatics, I mean, what, what, what are the benefits of going to the uh, conference? Well, I think anyone, um, any of the universities who have schools in health or they've got um, schools that are related to health informatics should be coming to this conference because of the contemporary issues that are being addressed here. Fabulous opportunity for meeting other people, being exposed to new ideas. I know that what I'm looking forward to particularly is going to be the new technologies that nurses and midwives are going to be using, bringing those back to my colleagues, making sure that we embed in our curriculum these, uh, we make sure that uh, we're dealing with the informatics issues that are going to skill up nurses to be able to um, embrace their role in the future. Um, and I think that that's the key issue why universities should be involved, but also because undoubtedly we're going to be meeting people who we may be able to collaborate with. There could be research ideas that could be generated from the conference, which is uh, a strength for universities getting engaged in Health Informatics 2013. Can you just say a little bit about the skill zone and your role? They uh, really wanted to... It's about, yes, you've got sessions going on, but it's the how to get those into practice. So the skill zone was set up because um, they felt that people wanted to get a better grasp of the skills that they might need when you take this back to practice. It's all very well buzzing with ideas, but you get back in practice and they sort of go because you get a sort of flat response from colleagues sometimes. But the skill zone is really about um, upskilling you to be able to cope with bringing about change in practice, enthusing your colleagues when you get back, getting the, what are the skills that you're going to need in able to put this into practice. And that's the skill zone it fundamentally is about helping you to do that. And I'll be giving a session on both of those days about how you could perhaps access um, some credit, some academic accreditation for your engagement in learning opportunities that come out of this conference. What is it that the university mm. offers uh, delegates mm. uh, off the back of this uh, credit uh, programme? Well, along with REC, we offer a work-based learning module. This gives delegates the opportunity, if they want, if you feel that um, participation in the conference has enabled you to um, expand the health informatics activity that you're engaged in in practice when you come away, that you may have actually got engaged in some project activity because you may have started working with some people you've met at uh, the conference on a project together, if you want to gain academic credit for that sort of activity, then we do have a module that you can just access and you can just put 
your learning in the module. We offer it any sort of credit level from level four, certificate level, right through to master's level. It's um, a portable module, so you can take it anywhere with you to another university. You don't have to stay with the University of Brighton. You can bolt it onto an existing course that you may be working on, wherever a university does accept credit transfer. Um, so it's, it's an opportunity for people to be able to, yes, you're doing the work anyway, you're, doing, you're, get, you're going to be working hard on perhaps some new innovation in practice. You can get some academic credit for that too through the University of Brighton. That's what we're offering.